Hi everyone, my name is Kathy. On Facebook, I have a weight loss fan page. It is called Kathy's Weight Loss Journey. It is spelled K-A-T-H-I. Today I want to talk about thyroid disease. A lot of people think that if you have thyroid disease, you're either high or you're low, and that is it. That is not true. There are quite a few autoimmune diseases that go along with thyroid disease. I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It is an autoimmune disease. So what happens is my body will try to attack and it destroys my thyroid gland. So my thyroid will actually try and sputter up occasionally to try and survive, but eventually with me, I usually stay pretty low. So your thyroid can swing high or low with Hashimoto's. So every three months, I have to go get checked. And if you just are high or low, then mostly you just need to get checked once a year just to make sure that you're on the right medication. But when you have an autoimmune and you have Hashimoto's, it is every three months, minimum. There have been times where I've gotten checked, and then a week or so later, I feel terrible, and I will go in there and tell them they need to do another test. And sometimes they give you a hard time, but my doctors know me now to where they just do it without asking questions because I know what I'm talking about, to where I've actually gotten the test, and sure enough, I swung really wildly to where they needed to adjust my medicine immediately. Now, if you go to a doctor, most doctors only perform a TSH test. All that checks for is that one hormone. Now, if you have thyroid disease and you have high TSH, they do not do a full panel. You need to have a full thyroid panel. If you think you have thyroid disease, if you have been diagnosed with thyroid disease, get a full thyroid panel. A lot of doctors, they only perform that little TSH test. Now, TSH is a hormone in your body, and what happens is, is your brain and your pituitary, they will flood your body with TSH to try and get your hormone, to, um, your thyroid to work. So then you have so much TSH hormone in your body. Well, even if my TSH level is normal, that does not determine if I have Hashimoto. So if I just do a TSH test, I can come back normal and the doctor will tell me that I do not have a thyroid problem at all when in fact I have Hashimoto's and autoimmune disease. So you have to make sure you get a full thyroid panel. Do not just do that simple TSH test. And then one more thing. If you have high TSH, you are not hyperactive. You are underactive. A lot of people get it backwards. The more TSH you have in your body, the lower your thyroid is. Because again, your, your body is being pumped full of this TSH trying to tell your thyroid you need to work, you need to work, but it's not working. So you have more TSH, but it's not working. And then you get more TSH. So the higher your TH level, the lower your thyroid. A lot of doctors, if they're older, they don't really acknowledge all the things that your thyroid can do. Now, your thyroid, when I was first diagnosed, other than just fatigue and, you know, weight gain and, of course, my eyesight, I really had no symptoms. It wasn't until 2011 and 12 when I really started noticing a lot of symptoms to where my body went in through a thyroid storm. Now, I actually had two tumors on my right ovary. One was the size of a cantaloupe and one was the size of a softball. Because they were on my ovary, which is part of your endocrine system, they were producing hormones, which was throwing my body into a thyroid storm. Now, it took two years for them to find it because the sicker I got, the bigger it got, and then I got more sick, and then they got bigger. And so it's just, it was a vicious cycle that we didn't catch until the end of 2012. And the end of 2012, I had so many symptoms with my thyroid disease. I had where, you know, it causes ADD. Um, I do have ADD. I've had it for a long time, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it can cause severe depression, fatigue. I actually have a red patch on my leg. is pretibial myedema. You really only get that if you have hyperactive or Graves' disease. So I really shouldn't have had that. And um, my leg would swell severely. And luckily now it's starting to get better. It wasn't really swell, but I do have the red patch. I now have slight eczema on my hands to where they'll crack and bleed. My hands are always cold. Um, 
I'm always dry skin. You can have dry hair. Again, it affects your eyesight. So if you have thyroid disease or Hashimoto's or even Graves, you have to get your eyes checked a lot because if your, if your um, hormones are not level, and they're not stable, it can really affect your eyesight. So sometimes you actually have to go get them checked twice a year, and I've had that. So if you have issues with your eyes, that's why. It messes with the way your body uses oxygen. Um, when I talk a lot for a long period of time or really fast, I seem to kind of struggle with, with my breath a bit. And I can't help it. So, and then it just, it messes with your heart. And now with thyroid disease, a lot of people think it's just a fat person's excuse to be fat. Oh, you have thyroid disease. Oh, it's just your excuse. That is very mean. It is hurtful and is very ignorant. Because if you honestly do not understand thyroid disease, how dare you tell me that all I have to do is take a pill and I'm cured? Because it is not that simple. Now, there are some people who do feel a lot better on medication and their symptoms do go away. That is fine. There are people like that. There are people with an autoimmune disease that have no symptoms. But there are people like me who I had no symptoms really for almost 10 years. And all of a sudden, I went through a thyroid storm, and I have a lot of the symptoms. Now, the biggest one that you can have that a lot of people think that, well, at least you won't die from it. I've actually had people tell me that, well, at least you're not going to die from it. I hate to tell you, you can die from your thyroid. What will slowly happen, you will get very sick and you will have, again, there are millions of side effects. So not everybody's is the same. My symptoms will not be your symptoms. Your symptoms can be totally different than mine, but it's still the same disease. So, but the thing that really will kill you over time, because again, you're not going to die overnight. It's going to be a slow, miserable death your heart will eventually give out. You can actually go into a coma and you can die from that. You can actually have your heart to where your heart will just, it just will give out. And that is almost what happened to me at the end of 2012 when we finally realized what was going on. It started to attack my heart. And my heart was eventually, it was, it was going to give out. You can get fluid around your lungs. It just, it causes such a wide range of symptoms. So you can't just say that my symptoms... Are, are nothing. You can't, you, if you don't understand what your thyroid can do, don't tell me what it can and cannot do. Now, it does control your metabolism completely. It will slow down your metabolism to where it is like you don't even have one really because I can work out one to two hours a day, five to seven days a week. I eat very clean. You know, I'm not perfect, but you know, 80% of the time I eat very clean and I can get on the scale and not lose anything. So it is extremely frustrating. Uh, another big frustration is water weight. I can gain anywhere from five to 20 pounds of water overnight. And I can carry it with me for days or even weeks at a time. And it's so frustrating because I can get on the scale and I can be 220. I get on the scale and two days later and be 240. It is, I know I did not eat enough to gain fat. I know in two days it is water. Another thing, if you see a doctor, and a lot of times you really kind of need to go to a younger doctor, unfortunately, because my endocrinologist, I've seen him for ages, I couldn't even tell you what he looked like. Now, I see the, um, the PA, his name is Joe. I have seen him since I was 22. Because when I was 22, no, I saw him when I was 24, sorry. When I was 22, I was diagnosed with um, thyroid disease. My doctor did not even tell me that it was not him. He All he told me was I had harsh, um, thyroid disease, and that was it. When I went in and I saw Joe two years later when I was 24, he mentioned Hashimoto's. I had no clue. So my doctor didn't even acknowledge, he did not even tell me anything. And Joe explained to me that it's an autoimmune I'm going to have it the rest of my life, that if I ever get pregnant, I have to come see him immediately. Because if you have Hashimoto's and I get pregnant, if I do not see the doctor, I can miscarry. So you have to go see your doctor immediately because your body cannot support a baby. So you can have a miscarriage. So you will have it the rest of your life. Funny thing. If you look on Google, and it's very irritating to me, and you will see so many websites promoting this diet where if you eat my food and you take my supplements, you will be cured. 
That is not right. That is not okay. You cannot cure an autoimmune disease with a diet. I can take selenium. I can take iodine because those two, it, you have to really get checked from your doctor because if you take too much of it, it can make you worse. Or if you don't have enough, you have a deficiency, that can make you worse. And a lot of the symptoms are the same if you're high or if you're low, so you need to get blood work done. But there is no diet that is going to cure me of my thyroid disease. Now, there are some foods that make it worse, and there are some foods that make it better. I usually don't pay too much attention to it because I like strawberries. I like peaches. I like kale. I like cabbage. And sadly, a lot of fruits and vegetables are on the do not eat list. And I tried not eating them. I don't feel any better. I've tried the coconut oil, which I do love coconut oil. That is very good for your thyroid. I can eat the diet exactly the way they tell me to, and guess what? I will still have it. It is never going away. I will have an autoimmune disease for the rest of my life regardless of what I eat. I don't care if I'm eating a cheeseburger every single day or if I'm eating their diet every day. I will still have it. And it really is scary to me because people will see these and they will quit taking their medicine go on these crazy diets and think that I'm going to be cured. And that is not true. It is not true. I don't care what they say, what pills they take, what minerals, what vitamins, nothing. You will have an autoimmune. And if you do not see your doctor, you do not get checked, it is very dangerous. So yeah, you can eat things to make you feel better. And I'm all for eating healthy, having a strong body. The stronger my body is, the healthier it is, the better I feel and the better I feel that I can heal. I'm still going to have it. Regardless, I'm always going to have an autoimmune disease. Now, again, make sure you see a doctor. Make sure he listens to you. Make sure that he is a doctor who does not sit there and tell you, well, you are going high and low. We're just going to take you off your medicine and let your body figure it out. No. If your doctor does that, get a new doctor. Because a lot of the new endocrinologists, they are actually understanding just how vital this thing is. Just everything that this thyroid can do, everything it controls, every side effect. If a lot of the older doctors, they just think, oh, well, here's a pill and you're fine. They don't realize. They don't educate themselves. And I have been to quite a few doctors where they just think that, oh, here's a pill. You're in normal range. You should be fine. No. My endocrinologist, Joe, he's the PA who I only see. He listens to me. Regardless of if I'm in normal range or not, if I'm not feeling okay, he will listen to me. We will do something about it because just because I take a pill does not mean I'm going to be cured. Again, some people are very blessed and they are. I am not. One of my biggest issues is joint pain. When I went through the thyroid storm, it caused a lot of joint issues to where I'm it feels like I have rheumatoid arthritis and my joints will flare so severely it is extremely painful and almost debilitating because my knee, it can be my elbow, it can be my toe joint which is one of the worst ones. It can be my back, it can be my jaw to where I cannot open my jaw to it can be this side and unfortunately once your joints flare one time they can always flare. So Ibuprofen is my very best friend. I take it almost every day. And if I go to the gym, I have to make sure that I take ibuprofen just to be able to get through the workout because my joints hurt. So if you get a doctor and he says, oh, well, your levels are normal. You shouldn't be going through any of this. Get a new doctor because you need a doctor who actually understands that just because you're in normal range, you're not going to feel perfect. And you need to get a doctor who actually realizes that normal range is not normal TSH-5. Your level should be 0.05 to 1.5. Sometimes maybe 2, but there's some endocrinologists who actually think your normal range should be up to 5. That is very underactive, and nobody's going to feel good if your TSH level is 5. So I still feel kind of crappy, even if mine is a normal range. So if I'm in 5, I really feel bad. And again, the symptoms can range from, you know, um, memory fog, which I have a lot of, ADD, depression, fatigue, your skin, your eyes, your hair, your mouth, everything. So you just need to get a really good doctor. You need to get a full 
thyroid panel. Be an advocate for yourself. Demand it. And if they don't do it, get another doctor. So just educate yourself and learn more about it.